in this session we'll see how the text losses are treated in uh, UACT law so for the text losses itself uh, we have to first uh, have a look on the overview of it which says that a tax loss will arise when the total deductions which indirectly mean the expenses which we are claiming after all the adjustments also are greater than the total income okay which is subject to tax which indirectly mean that if we are having a negative taxable income so our all you know all adjustments all expenses which we are intended to claim are higher as compared to our income so so you know in that case we'll be having a loss such such sort of a situation when we are having a loss here uh, it can be adjusted against the taxable income of future period up to 75 percent of the income in you know in that year and if there is any say a remainder it can be carried forward and it can be head forward in you know indefinitely which means that we will be able to claim it against our future income uh, with the same rule of 75 percent adjustment maximum in each year so just have a look at an example here so if my taxable income is 100k and the carry forward losses which i am having from the previous year are 125 so in this case i cannot carry forward my entire 125 against my 100k income i would first calculate 75 percent of my 100k income which will be equivalent to 75 and this 75 i will be adjusting from my income itself and of course in that period my taxable income would be 25k now i would be having a balance of 50k in terms of my tax losses uh, which i would be able to you know to carry forward indefinitely and i can adjust it in my subsequent years now we also have the option that we can transfer tax losses within the same qualifying group so uh, in our qualifying group section we have seen that if there is a common shareholding of at least 75 percent between the entities we call them as qualifying group so in those cases the you know if we are part of the same group we can offset losses of company a against the income of company b and all of the following conditions have to be fulfilled of course all of these should be juridical person which means they should be incorporated entities we we cannot adjust the losses okay against the income of individuals both taxable persons should be resident okay and as i said that we will have a 75 percent common ownership and the important area here is that the common ownership must exist from the start of the tax period in which we are intended to claim it so uh, it means that if we have just acquired a company in between a year uh, and although we have shareholding equivalent to 75 percent we still cannot claim the tax losses here because it has to be from the start of the year the person should not be exempt person should not be uh, from the you know any one of those should not be a qualifying prison persons their financial year also should end at the same date and their accounting standard should also be same in this okay you know, in this case so if all of these conditions are fulfilled in that case the tax loss of company a can be adjusted against the tax income of company b subject to the rule which i explained earlier here and finally we have certain limitations also if we have certain historical tax losses which are available for future taxable income in that case uh, we can only you know carry forward losses indefinitely if the same shareholder still own at least half of the share capital from the start of the year in which a loss is incurred and uh, you know, up till the end of the year in which we are offsetting it which simply means is that the ownership should be same throughout the year uh, you know or at least 
half of the ownership should be same only in that case we will be able to adjust the tax loss now if there is a you know change in the ownership of course we may be you know disposing or acquiring a new business in that case uh, if we are changing more than half of it in that case the activity which we are carrying in that business should be the same or similar okay the activity which will be carried forward by new owners also which means that if i am having a license for example if i am a marketing agency and uh, i am carrying same activity and even though all my you know, ownership is changed i can still claim historical tax losses in this case but if i have shifted from marketing agency probably to accounting services or probably to a trading company in, you know in that case i cannot claim my historical tax losses in this case hope this important area is clear because we would be seeing so many you know situation in in which case our income uh, would be less than our uh, you know tax allowable adjustment so in that case when we are having a loss we need to follow all these scenarios and if uh, these are you know applicable we will be able to claim our losses against our future income